Hello friends, welcome to Global Online. I am Vishakha and today we are going to learn MCQ's video of the first unit of economic syllabus that is microeconomics and this is how we will clear out concepts of microeconomics. We are taking this MCQ series to prepare for the upcoming NTA NET exam 2022. So let's start with the session. Before starting our today's session, I have an important announcement for the students who are preparing for NTNet 2022, Paper Sec and Economics. We are offering the full syllabus course for the Economics Paper 2. Uh, in that course, we have included mock test, full syllabus notes, video lectures, practice MCQs and PYQs. As we know the importance of PYQs, we have included in that course with PDF with solution. Okay. Uh, you have to download an app with this official logo to join our course or else you can contact on this given number on WhatsApp. Okay, fees is just 4999 but you will get plus paper 1 all the study material in that price. Okay, so uh, hurry up and join our course so uh, preparation will be start to clear upcoming exam okay here is a simple app display so you can join easily this is our first page first display of app then you will get this window uh, you have to just search for the app with this official logo on the play store you will get this window and search for the store on this window and you will get the list of the courses we are offering you have to just select your course if you want to take um, example or test or practice, you can get in that course, particular course. Just select your category and uh, start your preparation. Let's start with the first question. Which of the following is not correct with respect to consumer price index? Uh, which is not correct with the respect to the consumer price index? Okay, we have to choose the correct option for the question. Uh, Options are it measures the average change in price of the baskets of goods. It also done in the consumer price index. Okay, it is the most widely used measure of the inflation. This is also true about the consumer price index. It covers professionals, self-employed, poor, unemployed and retired people in the country. This is also the correct uh, in respect by right, consumer price index. But the option for CPIU is a consumer price index of the rural customers. This is the not correct statement about the consumer price index. So option 4 is the correct answer for this question. Okay. Let's move to the next. Okay. Explanation of the first question. The consumer price index CPI is measure that examines the weighted average of price of basket of consumer goods and services which includes transportation, food, and medical care okay these all includes in this cpi it is calculated by taking price changes for each item the predetermined basket of goods and averaging them changes in cpi are used to assess price changes associated with the cost of living the cpi is static for the identifying periods of inflation and deflation also uh, inflation or deflation uh, then it does not include things like savings investment and can often ex exclude spending of foreign visitors also means in CPI savings and investment and spending some foreign visitors are not included okay next question which of the following statement is not correct about the factor that give rise to the consumer movement in India we all know that there are so many movements had been done uh, in India uh, to give the rise to the consumer movements okay uh, here are the some options we have to choose the uh, movement which has not done in India okay options are frequent food shortage uh, hoardings and black marketing adulteration of food tax on soft beverages we have heard about the frequent food shortage Hoardings and black marketing also. Adulteration of food, we are uh, we have heard already about that. But option for that tax on soft beverages, this movement has not done in India. Okay. Then the correct option for this question is option 4, tax on soft beverages. 
factors that give rise to the uh, consumer movement in india are rampant food storage holdings and bulk marketing adulteration of food and edible oil the consumer movement in india was passed to the consumer protection act in india 1986 okay national consumer day is observed every year on december 24 every year we celebrate the national consumer day on december 24 to spread awareness to about consumer importance why we celebrate this uh, day to spread the awareness about the consumer importance their rights and the responsibility okay next question the law of demand state that what the law of demand state that every time we have to remember that uh, diagram okay about demand law okay price and quantity this is our demand law curve uh, the law of demand state that what state uh, let's see the options as the demand rises the price rises is it true about the law of demand demand rises price rises no as the prices rises as the prices rises demand rises is it true no the price rises the demand falls when the price rises the demand falls as the supply rises uh, is there any relation between supply and demand in the law of state uh, demand no then this also uh, so get cancelled then only one option left that is as prices rises and demand falls this is the correct option for this question as the prices rise demand falls as we know the law of demand the amount of good that consumer would optimally choose like the uh, like to increase when the price of the goods falls it likely to decrease with the rise in price of the goods this means the price rises the demand falls hence option 3 is correct however this rule is not valid through high value goods whose demand increases when the price rises here are some uh, points where the demand doesn't uh, increase when the price rises uh, what values high value goods hmm? a fall in the price of one commodity would cause an increase the demand of complementary commodity for example other factors being constant fall in price of sugar would increase the demand for tea and vice versa this commodity is called a complementary commodity here are some goods uh, where the law of demand does not uh, which of the following is a basic characteristic of oligopoly uh, we know we have learned about the oligopoly and we have to choose the one of the character of uh, oligopoly options are many sellers many buyers few sellers few buyers few sellers many buyers many sellers and few buyers here we know uh, in oligopoly there are many buyers and sellers are very few so correct option is option 3 few sellers and many buyers in oligopoly this is the basic characteristics of oligopoly few sellers many buyers is the basic characteristics of oligopoly this is our answer oligopoly is situation where three there are only few sellers who sell different and identical products and dominate the market since they have control over the price of the product in oligopoly sellers can control the price of the product okay technological legal and economic factors contribute to the dissolution or formation of oligopoly okay we know there is a term dumb uh, globalization a very vast term in economics which is very uh, important in economics terms here is a question on globalization okay let's see in economic terms globaliza globalization is the process of rapid dash dash between countries what options integration competition investment and change we have to fill that blank um, blank space with the correct option and the correct answer is integration Glo what is the globalization globalization is a process of rapid integration between countries okay globalization is a process by which ideas goods and services spread throughout the world because it is integration between countries okay globalization is often used in economic context to describe an integrated economy marked by free trade the free flow of capital and cooperative use of foreign labor markets to maximize returns and benefits of the common goods okay here are some global uh, terms or some points which uh, shows us the 
why globalization is important to us or any economy okay there are three types of globalization which economic globalization political globalization and cultural globalization these are some uh, three types of globalization next question which of the following is most close to the definition of oligopoly again the question on the oligopoly options the cigarette industry the barber shop and the welding shop with growing farmers as we know the in oligopoly there are few sellers and uh, many uh, buyers so what will be the answer there are many barber shop welding uh, shops with growing farmers also but here we have a option about the industry the cigarette industry is a, a correct example of oligopoly hence the correct answer of this question is option first the cigarette industry in oligopoly the market where industry or sales are dominated by the small groups of seller it can result in collision between sellers and reduces the market competition and leads to the higher price of consumers oligopoly markets share some common features less concentrated than monopoly oligopoly is less concentrated than monopoly and more concentrated than competitive system means the oligopoly is between not uh, between competitive system and another one is monopoly okay hence oligopoly has uh, features of monopoly as and features of perfect competition also the statement supply creates its own demand is given by here uh, in economy we have a, uh, a great statement about the supply and demand that is supply creates its own demand because uh, every commodity which is produced has to be sell it means supply already creates its own demand this is statement is given some uh, one of the economist uh, who that economist we have to tell uh, we have to answer that question from that options options are thomas jefferson james madison david ricardo and jb say the correct answer is option 4 jb say this is the correct answer uh, jb say has given that statement that supply creates its own demand okay the statement supply creates its own demand is given by jb say jean baptiste say uh, say was french economist who had liberal views and argued in favor of the competition and free trade okay he is the best known for says law which is also known as law of markets thomas jefferson served as third president of the united states from 1801 to 1809 um, he also served as the second vice president of the united states from 1797 to 1801 next question the law of demand implies that the demand curve here is again the question on law of demand let's draw our diagram okay price and quantity uh, what is the question the law of demand implies that demand curve how is demand curve we have to tell uh, from that options options are slopes up can we see the slope is up no then uh, this option is cut the first slopes up and then down is there any slope go going up and then down no then our option 2 is also cut slopes down no regular pattern uh, this also uh, this is uh, this option first get close or cancel because here is a regular pattern in the law of demand then one option is left that is slope down we can see the slope is going down then correct answer is option 3 slopes down okay the demand curve is relationship between the price and quantity of the goods and services there is a inverse relationship between price and demand due to the price demand curve always down slope okay uh, because the relationship between price and demand uh, demand is inverse that's why we always see that demand curve is down slope according to the law of demand when the price of commodity increase then the demand decrease when the price of commodity decrease then the demand increase inverse relationship between price and demand okay uh, keeping all the factors remaining the same this is the first basic assumption of the demand law okay which of the following is not related to macroeconomics uh, 
option demand supply and equilibrium behavioral of individual economic units labor economics and un unemployment the question is which is not related to economics so demand supply and equilibrium firstly related to economics then option first is uh, correct to regarding this microeconomics then behavior of individual economic unit also the part of economics microeconomics then labor economics also the part of microeconomics but unemployment uh, is the part of macroeconomics not micro so the correct answer of this question is option 4 unemployment Microeconomics is a study of individuals of business decision while macro looks at the decisions of countries and governments. Microeconomics focuses on supply and demand and other forces that determine price level making it a bottom up approach. Macroeconomics takes a top down approach and looks at the economy as a whole trying to determine its course and nature. Microeconomics involves several key principles including but not limited this is about microeconomics next question which price is declared by the government every year before sowing season to provide an incentive to the farmers for rising the production of their crops uh, options are maximum support price minimum support price maximum stock price and minimum stock price here the correct answer is option 2 minimum support price we already have the question in our last lecture on this topic that minimum support price who declares that minimum support price okay the minimum support price is a price declared by the government to ensure agricultural procedure against any sharp fall in from prices farm prices it is announced by the government of india every year before the sowing season and provides incentive to the farmers for rising the production of their crops the crops were selected based on the recommendation of the commission. The, the, here is the name of that institution which uh, select or recommended price for the uh, same commodity. Okay, Commission for Agriculture Cost and Prices (CSCP). If the market price for the commodity falls below the minimum support price due to the issue in the market, government agencies purchase the entire quantity at the announced minimum price. Okay, this is about the. Uh, minimum support price so done for today uh, we'll see more questions in next session from microeconomics uh, thank you for today's session